Hey guys, this is Jordan with Grim Workshop. Um, today I wanted to take you through a quick little walkthrough of how to cut a bottle start to finish using your micro cordage maker tool. So today we're going to use a standard 2 liter bottle. We recommend you start with those just because they're the easiest to use. Um, they give you this nice little guideline here. And so you can, if you perforate the bottle there, it gives you a nice straight line to cut from. You can use a knife for this. Um, you just get a nice cleaner line this way. So I recommend starting and using scissors if you can. It makes less work here in a minute. So, the first thing we're going to do, and this goes for all three tool variants, you can see these irregular edges on some parts. We're going to come through and kind of knock those off. So you're going to pull your bottle along that blade and scrape it along the blade until you feel it catch. And pulling the bottle, not the cord yet. And then once you get, that'll happen sometimes when it's straightening the edge of the bottle up. Once you get enough cordage to hold on to, about four or five inches, you can also use a pair, a multi-tool or a, a tool to grab onto it if you only have like an inch or so. That works really well. Um, I just wanted to show y'all simplest way. Um, once you get enough to hold on to, Start pulling. If you keep the tool perpendicular to the bottle, you're going to get better results. Oop. And sometimes that'll happen. Okay. There we go. And you can feel if it's a struggle, something's not quite right. And then when it gets on there good and it gets a nice straight line, it's much easier to pull. So if you're having to pull really hard and something's not quite right, and you might want to just cut it and restart your restart pulling on it. And as you can see, I'm using the table here to keep the tool perpendicular to the bottle. It makes it cut nice and straight that way. And you can do it several ways, holding the tool up, down. But the idea is you want the bottle to be at a 90 degree angle from the tool, if possible, for the easiest use and most consistent cutting. And the nice thing about some of the other tools, like the like the uh, card, is you can lay them down like this. It's really easy to lay them down and do it. The micro tool, it's not as easy as you can see. The dog tag, you can do it with that as well. And you just kind of find a nice comfortable way to hold the tool. Each tool you kind of kind of want to grip differently because they're different sizes. Oop. And sometimes that happens. But as you can see, I've got probably 25 foot of line here. If you stop and start, it's easier for it to break. If you just cut on one consistent pull it's much easier to get a nice big consistent length of cord but don't get discouraged if you are just getting 15 or 20 foot length sometimes sometimes that just happens and sometimes the bottles get real wavy Sometimes it's easiest just to straighten them. Sometimes you can just go go back to it. I hope this helps. And if instead of getting 15 or 20 foot sections, you're getting like two or three inch ones, uh, you might want to view our uh, build video to show kind of how to put it together. A lot of times you just have the blade flip the wrong direction. Either it's facing the wrong direction or you have it upside down. Um, that's the most common error. 
So if that's what's happening to you and you're getting very short pieces and that's all, just uh, watch that build video because you probably have the blade turned the wrong way. Uh, thanks, guys.